The referee's going to blow. A big win for Queen's Park Rangers. Burnley's unbeaten home record has gone. Big win for Gareth Ainsworth and Queen's Park Rangers. Finished Burnley 1, Queen's Park Rangers 2. Burnley dominated the first half. Couldn't convert chances into goals. And the shot opener came on 58 minutes through Sam Field. A long throw bounced across the six-yard box. The former West Brom man tucked it home into the corner. Burnley did respond. They got the equaliser on 78 minutes. Another classical Manuel Benson goal. Cut inside, great finish left foot into the corner. But there was a further shot, four minutes from time. Again from a short corner, delivered in there. Chris Martin, who just come on, headed home to give Queen's Park Rangers the win. Burnley won't be happy with the play acting. They won't be happy with the timekeeping. But in the end, Queen's Park Rangers are the winners here. Burnley won. Queen's Park Rangers 2, Burnley only their third defeat of the season, Lola. Yeah, and it, what can we say? It's, it's kind of an, an, anticlimactic, to be honest, but credit to QPR. They came out, played a game, didn't create as many chances as we did, but took them when it mattered. Yeah, have you, have you got to adjust your game plan? We have done during the season, haven't we? Yeah, we We've have, come we from have. behind we to have. win these games. We, have. we just couldn't break Queen's Park Rangers down, could we? No, and, and, and we talked about it earlier in the game. When you've got your chances and you're creating as much as you are, you have to be clinical in the final third. QPR didn't create much, but they were clinical and have won the game and they've taken all three points. Is there a lesson to learn here, do you think, Lola? You know, I, I mean, you can't do anything about the game management. No. We thought the officials didn't have enough on. No. You've got to maybe get it across the pitch a little bit quicker. Yeah, and, and I think... Look, listen. You can't be too critical of this team and what they've done this season. We obviously wanted the fairy tale ending for that to be one here at Turf Moor. It's not going to be today. It could be in our next game. Yeah. We wait and see and live, live another day, Phil. Could have been two or three up, couldn't they, in the yeah. first 20 minutes, without exaggeration. And I, and I think that's what's going to be most disappointing to the team and to the yeah. manager, is that we, we created chances that should have won us the game early yeah. on and put this game to bed. We allowed QPR to grow back into it. We allowed them to get more confident, and they took their chances. Yeah, I mean, if it had been 2 3 nil after 20 minutes, it wouldn't game have been over. unjust, would it? No, no. They, they grew not. into the game. Yep. They used a bit of physicality. They were good at set pieces. They made, and they found they a way, it. didn't yeah, they? Yeah, they, they, and that's, I think that's, that's where we have to look at ourselves as a team. We allowed them to grow into the game. Yes. They weren't yeah. a better team in that first half. They were miles off it. But we give them chances. Credit to the manager. He made changes, effective changes. Yeah. Pace yeah. up top, strength up top. We missed Nathan Teller today, didn't yeah, we? we? That, that's yeah. blatantly obvious, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we yeah. missed Nathan Teller. Yeah, we did, we did. And uh, with him on board, you'd have maybe thought we'd have tested them for pace a little bit more. Yeah, and look, the team that we put out was more than capable to win this game, Phil. Yes, I thought so. And probably should have won the game yeah. on chances created. Yes, yes. Um, particularly first half. Yeah. Maybe it was a, a more level second half. Uh, what now, Lola? I mean, obviously, Tuesday night's massive, isn't it? Yes. Why don't you put all your disappointment to bed <laughs> and go and win it at Ewood Park? And I think, you know, <laughs> to win it there would be... The football rivalry is, is, is known across the town. So, you know, we, we go to Ewood Park, they'll be up for a challenge, we'll be up for a challenge. There'll be a bit of anger and disappointment today. There will be. And there go will and be. use that on Tuesday night. Yeah, fuel it and channel it in the in the right way. You've got an opportunity still to win to win the league. That's what we want. We're promoted. We want the win. We want to do it the right way. And if it has to be at Ewood Park, so be it. Lola, great to see you again. Thank you so much, good, Bill, for good, having me. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Burnley women against Wolves. Massive game Massive at Darwin game. at two o'clock. We wish you all the best on that. Thank you very Let's much. Let's hope the weekend ends well. Yes. Thanks, Lola. Thanks so much. Uh, the news here is a shock. Queen's Park Rangers have come to turf more than one for only the third time in their history. Burnley won. Queen's Park Rangers two. Take care, everybody. Goodbye from me.